Hi, my name's Simon and I run a collection of websites and projects based around the worlds of music, games and film. Back in 2008 I launched Higher Plane Games, a YouTube channel that covers a variety of games that I personally love and enjoy. They start right away from the ZX Spectrum 3, which was the first thing that I had as a child, and work their way right the way through to uh, console gaming that's going on today. I'm also a heavy PC fan, particularly around the indie scene, because I think there's a lot of cutting edge and enjoyably interesting things that are going on there right now. My reviews are generally positive, informative, but professional. You won't find screaming, running around, memes, and like click plates of like explosions going on in the thumbnails. What you'll get is something that goes a bit more beyond what you usually get in a review and primarily I really want to be a good informant for you as to whether or not a game is suitable for you, not necessarily whether it's good or not because good or not is very subjective to people. So the more descriptive I can become the better the review would be for you so that you know whether or not it's going to be good for you personally. Although I've said that you may not find screaming and shouting everywhere, what you do find usually is a few drunk live streams that go on. Uh, every week I will do a live stream alongside the game reviews, the let's plays and all of the general stuff you'll find on a normal channel where the community can get involved. And um, they're some of my favourite moments because I do love to see everyone pop out and have a good game uh, together. At the same time in 2008 I also launched a website called Higher Plane Music which celebrates music that I love stuff that's a little bit different and usually unsigned, undiscovered artists to give them a little bit of a light shone on what they do. As a singer-songwriter myself, I'm very passionate about making sure that the music that I enjoy gets a platform from which it can shout about itself from. Be that an interview of an artist, a review of a CD or soundtrack. All of it comes with a positive spin, usually because I've purchased the music myself or already have a connection with that artist. Both of these projects, alongside some of the other ones that I run, have gained small dedicated followings over time. They've been running for nearly a decade now, and it's been really great to build up communities and interact with you all. However, I'm really looking to take things to the next level, and that's why I'm joining Patreon. Patreon is a platform for creatives to showcase their work and have patrons support them in what they do. My end goal is to become a creator full time. Whilst I know that that may seem unrealistic, and it may be many, 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 many moons away from ever happening at all, Patreon is the place that I want to start doing this from. There'll always be free content, and throughout all of the projects that I do, free things will always be available to everyone. However, if you do become a patron of my services in art, there'll be additional exclusive content that will be displayed on the Patreon newsfeed for you to gobble up and enjoy. I'm very flexible with the rewards that are on offer. If you'd like something that isn't currently there, then please do get in touch and I'll look at seeing what I can do for you. I genuinely believe that my calling is to be a creator and I want to do that on a full-time basis. I currently have a full-time job that I go to, survive and then come home so that I can actually create all throughout the evenings and the weekends. It's what keeps me going, it's my lifeblood. And I don't see that ever changing in the future because for me, creating is what keeps me alive, afloat and present in this world. I don't see that ever changing. What Patreon does, though, is enable me to try out new things and to be able to get instant feedback from a community that's invested in me, which is a fantastic thing to think that people would be prepared to invest in what I do as a service and an artist. There are specific goals that I'm looking to achieve to help me become a sustainable creator full time. Some of those will involve buying new equipment to enable me to produce higher quality material. Some of it will also be around just purely being able to pay my rent as well as being a creator as well. Um, but what I do plan on do being is absolutely open and transparent and honest so that you'll know exactly where every single penny, pound, dime or dollar or yen wherever you're from i'm grateful for, i'm grateful for all currencies uh, but whatever you're submitting you will know exactly down to the penny what has been spent and why rewards are split into tiers so you can choose what appeals and what's affordable to you i believe in getting value for money so you'll have access to exclusive content across all of the projects regardless of whether you're interested in all of them or not 
so that if you decide, oh, actually, I quite fancy downloading the album, you don't need to go and shell out for it separately somewhere else. You're just going to get it for being part of the Patreon campaign. Although the Patreon newsfeed will be chock a block of exclusive content, that doesn't mean that free stuff will be going away. There'll always be free material throughout Higher Plane Music and Higher Plane Games. I love Disaster Movies and Satoramon as well. And any additional projects that I take on as a result of the Patreon campaign will also have free elements available to them. Ultimately, I want you to have a hugely positive experience in being part of a community that is positive about what they enjoy, be that gaming, music, film, or all three. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you so much for being part of my community, and whether you do decide to donate or not, I'm grateful for you sticking around. Thanks.